everybody. Welcome back to another Rosh Reviews. Today, we are back in Melbourne again with Brett and... Howdy. Mate, we are in the Daily now. So we're out of the VX in the Daily and yeah. I can't believe we call this the Daily because... What is this? 800 horsepower VF? Eight, like 850. 850. 850 at the wheels. At the wheels. So yeah. we do thankfully have some decent rubber back there. Yeah, I've got the drag, um, drag radials on it today. For, thank goodness. Yeah, for, safe, and, for safety reasons. Yeah. <laughs> and we are talking like built motor here. It's a iron block LY6. So wow. still a six liter. Yep. So it's got a stock crank, but it's got Leonardi rods, CP bullet pistons. It's about 10.6 to one comp. Jeez. So it's it's not, it hasn't been de decomped for boost. It's still, yep. still nice and healthy for you know, cruising around off boost. Yeah, yeah, I did have a quick drive of this actually guys before um, and yeah as long as you're just gentle it's it's pretty dailyable I'm gonna say you can you could daily it yeah. Well it is the daily. It is the daily <laughs> but. <laughs> I actually drive this in peak hour bumper to bumper Monash freeway doesn't rain hail shine whatever. That's just crazy eh? yeah. And um, automatic so 6L80E. Yep. Um, yep. And you have tuned this box though. Yeah, I spend a lot of time because I do a fair bit of tuning on the side with yep. with my you know, BS tuning and performance. Yep. So I do out of hours tuning and I've been doing it for 16 years now. Yeah, wow, cool. So a lot of LS, just LS based stuff. So yep. what I love specialising in is these these six speed autos. True. This is actually still a stock stock six speed. So standard 6L80E with a yeah. standard converter. Yeah, wow, so it's just a tune on it. Just The auto is just tuned. Wow, and it's handling 850 touched. at the wheels. It hasn't even had the fluid changed. Like it's, oh my goodness. It is standard. <laughs> but as long as you're not going crazy on it, it's... Yeah, as long as you're not ripping, uh, I guess, what, first and second from standstills. And... Well, I guess as long as you're not... When you're launching it at the track and stuff, you've got to be pretty careful. Yeah. So I took it once to the track, but I I tuned it very soft on the launch. True. So I only launched with like 15% throttle just to try and save. Yep. You know, save the box and... Because one day I'll build it, but... Yeah, because this thing would run in the nines for sure. Yeah. When I took it, I took it once to Heathcote on its first pass. It, it went 10.5 at 137 mile an hour. Yeah. But that was that was a very soft launch. It wheel spun first to second. Like, it should have been a 10.1, yep. 10.2. But yeah, it went 137 mile an hour. And that was with like 100 kilowatts of the wheels less. Yeah, true. So, so yeah, now it's, 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 well it's definitely in, in the nines. Well into the nines, it's probably 143, 145 mile an hour. Yeah, it's 850 serious. It's <laughs> it's too much, too much for the street. It most, is most of the time, to be honest. Like it it's is. it's a lot of power and a lot of torque. It's mad. Yeah. Got a, it's only got a Harab HO2 cam, so that's a mild, mild lower yeah. cam, Higgins head, so it's a mild engine package really, but it's 18 pounds of boost, so that's, there's no more, there was no more. 18 pounds, yeah, just like, you know, when you're building a motor here, it's, yeah. it's there was, impressive. There's how many no K's are on this yeah. too? Is, 85. So it's still not even... No, it's only 85,000. Not thanks many to, at all. Thanks to COVID and everything else. Yeah, I was going to say, being a daily, a lot of you must live home. close to work too, I guess, or work from home. We did a yeah. lot of working from home through COVID, so it wasn't... There wasn't as many Ks being put on it, but you know, this this does the road trips, it does everything in between, so... Yeah. You know, whenever it needs to go out, it's, it's this car, so... Man, it's... Uh... But it just drives so nice, like, I love it. This is like to me it's the perfect the, the great thing about the VFs again is the interior, they look great, you know, the inside's yeah. nice, well, they're comfortable. Got, this has got GDS GDS seats. Yes, actually, I was just because yeah. you've retrimmed a lot of this stuff yeah. too, haven't you? So it's you? got GDS seats, it's got the Valua roof lining, steering wheel. Yes, because I noticed steering wheel and this yep. was all done. Yeah, and then it's got a lot of stitching. I've only just realized now that the stitching all matches it too. Yeah, yeah, so it's had a fair bit done to it. Yeah. So it make it a lot more comfortable too. So that's it's it's, it's a really very enjoyable car to drive. I'll try and give it a little little yeah. short shift through the gears and to see if it points straight. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. 
Wow. It gets your heart going. <laughs> and it felt like it was just so effortless. Yeah. Felt like this thing was just like barely breaking a sweat doing that. That does it easy. Holy crap. Yeah. Wow, that's that's quick. Yeah. That is quick. And <laughs> that you is can what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous. It's in second there, it's definitely without the radials. Oh man, second's you can, no chance. You can, I don't think you yeah. Man, no chance, anything like. without those that rubber on the back, I would be scared of. Yeah. Even that man, that was it's just third, crazy. Third, third like this now is pretty good. Yo, oh. you need a runway in this, don't you? It's it just... It needs an airport or something. It's oh, just, if you had, a, a, yeah, just a, an airfield or something, man, this thing would just be terrifying. Yeah. It already is terrifying, but like... <laughs> I'm glad I've got the radials on it. <laughs> oh, my word. That is just crazy, guys. Now, just quickly, guys, before we continue, we are sponsored by Wiper Tech. And guys, these are legitimately the best wipers in the game here in Australia. I use these on my F6, on all my cars I have, and it's just simple, guys. Easy installation, five-star reviews, it gets delivered to your door. Use my code ROSS15OFF, and you're gonna get 15% off your order and free express shipping. So, huge thank you to Wiper Tech. Make sure you click the link down below. These are the best wipers. Now let's see what this 850 horsepower daily VF is going to do, zero to 100. Yep. Alrighty, so we did a uh, five seconds flat, basically. It's about what I was expecting. Which, so. it's respectable. And I was very soft. I, I, very it was soft. soft. I could tell it was a bit soft, but you, this, I think this has got more in it for sure. Oh, way more. Way yeah. More. You got it. <laughs> and you actually went up slightly. So up here. only by 1.8 degrees, but yeah. uh, a valid draggy run too. 4.36. Getting there. Not bad at all. I'm getting there. That's quick. Yeah. I'm happy with that. That's absolutely quick. The fastest Commodore? Yeah, I believe so it is. Absolutely it is, yep. That's fastest Commodore we've timed on the street. That'll yep. do for now. That's crazy. Definitely more in it if I can. <laughs> oh, I believe it. Yeah, this would be in the threes for sure on the track. Yeah. Absolutely. Alrighty guys, so in the driver's seat now, and yeah, again, Brad, this thing is just wild. Um, a 4.3 is pretty impressive. Yeah, really I'm impressive. Right, yeah. I believe it's the fastest street Commodore we've done yet, so yeah. I'm it's, competitive, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a beast, this thing. And, I wanted um, to keep trying, but we're gonna run out of daylight, so. Yeah, we Maybe are, we'll do a round two another time. We are, yeah, maybe another day, but yeah. my goodness, it's already, it's already up here, isn't it, so. Yeah, this this is just a nice car to drive. Even when you're sitting here, you know, just in drive, just casually driving it, it's just like any other VF holding you would imagine. You'd think it's, it was stock, just with an exhaust. Like. Yeah, really. You wouldn't think there's much done to it when you're no. just cruising here. No, not it's, at all. Uh, it, it's it's, it's quite sedate. sleeper when you're just cruising. It's very sedate to drive normally. Yeah, it's it's kind of peculiar how it, how sedate it is when yeah. you're just cruising. Again, guys, remember if you're enjoying this type of content. Make sure you hit that big red subscribe button, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Yeah. Uh, when you guys subscribe, it's it's how it helps me out. Uh, travel this country, you know, meet yeah. the owners like Brett and see these type of crazy builds. So Ross has literally flown from Perth. We to have, Melbourne. yes, that's we've a got a lot effort. of expenses we've got to cover, people. So that's a big effort. At so. least you can hit the subscribe button. Come on, yeah. everybody. <laughs> that's it. Got to help him out. So. It's like just rolling on third a little bit. <laughs> you just feel it in stages, don't you? Oh, like, I'm 
I'm like, I'm just trying to be real gentle with that pedal because, man, it's it just, just more and more and more. It's um, yeah. The more you push down, the more it just takes off. And I don't, I don't even know where I was actually on the rev limiter there, but nah, you might I don't think I was even close, really. No, you might so, be about five thousand or something. It was <laughs> starting to get up there, but yeah, wow. um, it's a different experience over here. So yeah, I think so, isn't it? Yeah. And again, I'm only just getting to like five and a half, and yeah. then corners are coming up, and there's like you can you can feel. I think you were telling me earlier, like it it does kind of you it's can a, feel it wants to it squirms around a little bit. Hey, yeah. you kind of got to forcibly hold it straight. It's a little floaty, but it's a little the, floaty, but it's the true track loves to talk steer. That's what I'm. That's what I feel camper. slightly. I feel like it's because a lot, lot of the roads have a it camper. almost crab walks well, a little bit. Yeah, it but does. it's. But you, yeah, as long as you can feel the wheel turning in your hands, but you don't yeah. you just hold it straight. Yeah. Yeah. Man, this rubber helps a lot to keep it straight. Yeah, so. you need it. You need that for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. And we're in third again. Yep. <laughs> I think I shifted early as well again, but yeah. man, it's... It's hard not to it's, sometimes. It's so intimidating. Like, yeah, it's, it's man, and it just keeps hauling. And I'm, and I'm just kind of maybe getting past half, maybe? maybe? Oh, but you're sort of starting to get up there, I think, so it's... I feel like I'm not even pressing the pedal that much. I'm starting to get into it, and then I'm like, man, I gotta shift up or I gotta let off. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, it's wildly quick. Yeah. My goodness. Definitely gets up there fast. Yeah, it's not slow, this car. No, not at all. Absolute beast. So, guys, look, we're gonna finish the video off here today. This thing's insane, Brett. Again, thank you so much. No worries. Uh, it's just one of the most wild dailies I've ever seen, if you can call it a daily. Yeah. <laughs> but I can see oh, when yeah. it's in drive. In drive, it, it is. It is actually pretty docile. Yeah, it's very tame. Man, when you get it over into manual mode and you start pressing that pedal. Yeah. Woo, man, you need a runway. Oh, you, do. <laughs> you need a big runway. Yeah. But, uh, it's man, it's, it's a hell of a car, isn't it? So, yeah. huge thanks for bringing it down. I appreciate Guys, it. Guys, hit the subscribe button, like. Yep. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll yep. see you on the next one. Take care, guys. See you, guys.